We got Damon Jackson back here on the program, this time fresh off a win over Charles Rosa at UFC Fight Night on October 9th. Live from the beach. Damon, how's it going, man? Oh, yeah. No, it's good, man. It's all good. A uh, little, little swelled up by, but nothing crazy. Go pretty good. Yeah, you're looking like Wolverine with that uh, that, that healed up cut. Um, first off, congratulations on the win. Uh, was that how you anticipated the fight going? Uh, maybe not getting the cut, but uh, obviously the performance you put on there. Yeah, I honestly I thought that my wrestling was gonna like uh, trump his uh, his jiu-jitsu off of his back and his grappling. His style is usually like. Uh, a lot of heavy uh, off his bat game. So he doesn't really wrestle a whole lot. So I thought that I was definitely getting him to the ground and uh, controlling. Was there anything you weren't expecting in the fight? I know you and Coach Safe, you really monitor your opponents quite well, but was there anything in the fight that maybe you weren't anticipating? Um, uh, that How well his uh, his defense was. I feel like... Uh, I feel like the whole fight, he was just very defensive at, on the grappling side. And I felt like he never really tried to... Uh, to advance in like grappling he he was just okay with taking he was okay with getting taken down he was okay with uh me having his back or me like uh you know snapping him down with a body lock and stuff like that so i felt like he would fight a little bit more and he didn't you know didn't as much as i thought the cut got to mention it it was that weird spinning back elbow that he landed were you worried at all though in the fight that maybe they would stop it did that ever cross your mind in the fight you know, who the hell knows? You know, like, I really, I personally felt like I was like, oh, I'm ready to go. Like, shut the fuck up. You know, like, <laughs> I just kind of like, uh, I was kind of annoyed that they brought the referee in. But I'm like, or they brought the doctor in. But I'm just like, hey, man, like, do what you got to do. Let's get back to the fight. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's part of the sport, for sure. They're there for the safety and everything. But I felt that um, the blood was definitely going towards uh, the side of my eye, which it was. So whenever the doctor came in there, they like they took like probably like three seconds. She was like, oh, you're good. You know, that was it. So any any concerns going to the judges? I mean, I think people watching at home felt like you won, but you never know, right? You never know. And that like um, I was before that fight, I was 18 and four and I had 17 finishes because uh, that's something that does scare me. It's something that um, makes me like second guess the way that um, the whole sport is. You know, with people missing weight, the judges and like the state you fight in and all that stuff, it, it all adds up. So um, being in Vegas and everything, I felt pretty safe with uh, the judges and everything. But um, you never know. You never know what they like to watch. You never know who's going to be there and, you know, whatever. So uh, I was definitely like, uh, I won the the first and second round for sure. Third round, I got cut. You know, so who who knows how they how they judge it? But I was pretty confident. But you never know. How did you celebrate that night uh, after the win? Uh, well, so one of my really good friends and like just the the whole family has became my friends. And they they uh, Stacy and Billy they had me uh, they had me some uh, awesome donuts right after. So that's that's my thing. After is I have donuts and a cheeseburger, and so they had they had donuts and a cheeseburger laid out for me, and uh, we went there, and then we went to the the Justin Bieber concert. Really? <laughs> I'm <not> too happy. <laughs> hey, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not too happy about that. But it was actually it was Justin Bieber, Marshmallow Man, and some other guy came out, and uh, or it was. Uh, Jaden Smith or Will Smith's son. Okay. So it was a good night at concert, whatever. We had a good time and uh, we went to the concert after at the win and uh, hung out. And uh, yeah, it was good. But uh, yeah, that was how I celebrated. Did uh, did Coach Safe with you go to the Bieber concert? He did. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't put that online. But yeah. he, uh, he came with me and uh, he was there for a little while. I, he may have left before Bieber came on because Bieber came on like, 1 a.m. and I was like I was sitting there with all my friends and I was like man I'm not sure if I can last till 1 a.m. you know and I ended up staying out till like 6 a.m. so it was a it was a long night and I just got to Mexico and uh, I'm here right now actually on the beach so and, jealous, uh, man. That's I'm awesome. here with my kids and my wife and 
and uh, family just hanging out and having a good time. Yeah, and certainly not going to keep you too long. I'd, I'd be wanting to enjoy the, no, uh, the, the waves you're right good, now. But a uh, couple quick things. Um, first off, how much of a boost was it for you? Because I know it's kind of a family atmosphere at Fortis. Fernie Garcia getting that win on Contender Series. How much did that sort of, you know, uh, just, just for the team kind of, kind of you know, boost you guys up? No, shit, man. It's huge because that, that kid, he's been one of those guys. Him, uh, there's, a, there's a handful of guys. I would say him. Abdul and EJ are those guys that have been just like right there on the verge of being in the UFC. They're they're all ready for the UFC, and so for him to get in on the UFC on a knockout win was it was freaking huge, man. It was like we were, we had practice that night, and everybody on the team was sitting there watching a you know somebody's iPhone watching um watching the UFC contender on the on his fight, so. Uh, we had like 40, 50 guys watching his fight and just begging for him to get in. And we all know he's ready. Um, you know, I hope that he gets a fight uh, matchup soon. He's been training crazy hard. And then uh, I hope Abdul gets in soon too because he's been he's been one of my main training partners. Him and, uh, him and EJ have been training with me like all the time, and uh, they're both ready to go. And uh, they both have their own unique style bet. We got a lot of young fighters that are just dying to get in and they're ready to roll. So good. That's awesome. You'll see them soon. For sure. love, love hearing that. Um, you're in Mexico now. When are you getting back? Are you staying there for like a week? Yeah, I'm staying there for one week. And I told, I told my coach and I told Jason house, my manager that, uh, as a, like, Hey, you know, this guy, this guy, this guy. And I said that, Hey, when I get back, I want to have something lined up. So, nice. Maybe like uh, beginning of February or end of January, I want to have a I want to have a matchup made, um, and uh, be making that you know making that training camp for sure. Any names you can mention, or are you leaving that close to the vest? You know, like uh, there's just like so literally, hey, any featherweight in the UFC only. Don't be hit me up if you're in Bellator, LFA, whatever. Any any matchup in the LF, in uh, in the UFC featherweight, like let's go. Like I'm ready to roll. I want someone uh, top twenty if I could. I don't want to be an asshole and say you know someone in the top ten. But there's plenty of guys, you know, like you know, plenty of guys that I can take advantage of with my grappling. And um, you know, I'm ready to roll. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully, uh, Coach and Jason come up with something so I don't have to tell them what I want. Yeah. Most important question in this interview, what are you drinking today on the beach? I got to know. Uh, I'm getting a frozen margarita. I've been dying for something like, so like when you're cutting weight, you only think about cold. Do you think about, I like, so like something that like is crazy that I never thought that like, you know, I didn't, I didn't really think about it. But like, as soon as my fight, like as soon as I was done fighting, I was like, hey man, can I go to the UFC PI? Can I go to the cold plunge? And apparently no one's ever asked for that. So I was the first person that ever asked for the UFC, the, the UFC PI cold plunge. So I went over there as soon as my fight was over and got the cold plunge and hot tub and all that stuff. So whenever I was uh, cutting weight, I was thinking about frozen margaritas. So that's been the, that's been the only thing I've drank so far. Go enjoy the well-deserved vacation, Damon. Thanks again, man. Always appreciate the time. Anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, any social media you want to plug, I'll uh, give you the last word. No, man, just my team, and uh, shout-out to uh, EJ and Abdul, man. I hope those guys get in soon. Uh, I know we got plenty of guys besides them that are trying to get into UFC, but those are the two guys that really put the time in for me and uh, really helped me get ready for this fight, and uh, they're ready to roll.